What's up, Facebook? Saturday afternoon in a beautiful 72 degrees, no humidity, all sunshine, blue skies. We'll show you here in a minute. Joe, Kathy, Thor, and Emma. There's Kathy, there's Thor, there's Emma back there sleeping as always. We got our Home Depot stuff in the back here. On our way home, we're gonna be doing some work in the gardening. I'm gonna do some deck painting in the back around the pool. I wanted to come to you guys and give you the insight how we can change our lives in 93 days. But before we get to that, first and foremost, thank you all for continuing the show up. Thank you for sharing these messages. Thank you for sharing the love, sharing the abundance. We were talking about being resourceful this morning. I picked up a pair of Bose 501 speakers, which are only built between 71 and 77. These things sound immaculate. So I brought my sound system with me. I connected the speakers up. I wanted to make sure they sounded good because we are having live events here at the property. So when you guys get the opportunity to play some karaoke, do some DJing, play some bow and arrow dodgeball. You guys are gonna love this, Daniela Bella. Hello, Daniela. Daniela. So we are on our way back home. So check out this day here. This is the road going to our house. Look at these beautiful blue skies. In this country bumpkin setting here. Got our trucks over there and all the barns and all this stuff. Got lots of land down here. We just came from this guy's house down the road. Give you a switch back around here. And he's moving. He's moving to Gwen Island right down the road from us. This place Gwen Island. It's a little backwards shaped uh, P. And you drive in, drive out on that one road only only way in there so he's selling his property he paid cash for his property he looks excited to me he had all this old electronic equipment from back in the 70s and the 80s and I can remember that stuff like yesterday so I don't know where the time went speaking of time going we're already in May I see the light at the end of the tunnel we're starting to open back up here continue to take these precautions continue to get your vitamin C continue to get your vitamin D get your sun keep drinking that warm water because the reality is we should have been being healthy our whole lives anyway but I wanted to come to you today and talk about 93 Day Challenge. We just launched our membership site at the Rises One. And in that site, we have an app. And in that app, you can track the four pillars of your life. We can put your goals in there. We're going to make a, a, a chart and say, where were you when you started? And where were you when you finished? And we're going to show those results here in the membership site. And the best part about this app is that as we go through the four phases, R is recreation, your I is your intimacy, your S is your spirituality, E is your execution in your business. And then the last part, the as one, is your lesson of the day. What did you learn today? So as you learn something that day, you post that into the app, it's shared within our private community in the Rises One group. And that's going to be super powerful for not only you, but you're also going to be having other people reaching out to you and say, I went through that experience. This, was, this is what I learned. What's up, Nani? Good to see you. This is what I learned in my experience. So regardless of whatever you're going through, if it's a win, celebrate your wins. Talk about those. The other people say, hey, man, I love to watch your growth. I love to see what you're doing. And I can see so many people right now in the Rides as One group are breaking through. They're understanding what we've been talking about. We're closing in on one year with the Rides as One Foundation Incorporated. That was a year ago in May that we opened up the nonprofit. That nonprofit is building senior veteran homes, two of them right here in our front yard in Virginia. We're gonna have that as our base model. Here's our proof of concept. Here's how it works. Here's the cash flow. This is what it costs to build it. We're gonna have all those numbers for my students that wanna go out there and do this across the country. We're gonna be in 33 states in five years. My goal is I'm gonna shrink that down to 33 states in three years as we start bringing people on board that are executioners. We're gonna help oversee your build out. And that's going to be the blessing, going out there and honoring the veterans who put their lives on the line for us. And now it's going to incorporate doctors and nurses because they put their lives on the line as well, too. So the nonprofit is going to be able to pay for your property, pay for your food. If you can't afford it, then we're going to pay for that through the foundation. That's a blessing. In order to receive a blessing, you must first be the blessing. So we're here to, to give back. So I want to give the mic to Kathy here because she just went through a 90-day 93 day challenge her and a friend and the results were amazing so Kat what was your number one takeaway and what were the rest of, rest of your results that you experienced so one of the things that I wanted to first mention is that when you're making your goals it's really important to be very definitive so for example I wanted to I had a specific goal weight in mind and I 
I knew that if I said, well, I hope I can just lose weight, then I would have just lost, you know, one or two pounds and I wouldn't have, I would have said, okay, I reached my goal. But I specifically picked a pretty tough, difficult target, I should say, and I was shy of it by one pound, but I worked my butt off. So I think it's really important to set a very challenging goal. Don't make it easy for yourself because you'll achieve it and then you won't have, feel it, have this feeling of a great accomplishment. Uh, for me, I did, let's see, I had the weight goal, I had spiritual connections that I really wanted to connect to family and friends. We talk about that, the spiritual and connection, what happened? That was, three, three, three. What that happened? was incredible because I made a point of reaching out to someone every single day. Specifically, I wanted to call them, but if I wasn't able to reach them, I would send them a message. And I felt the connections grow. I grew spiritually as well, because I made sure that I was having a very strong connection to God. Another thing I wanted to do this year was read the Bible. So, like I said, be very specific about your goals. I was able to achieve all mine, and I'm super excited. What was your goal with the Bible? How many pages did you have to read, or what was that? So, my goal is to read the full Bible this year. So, I, it, I've extended it to the full year, but that's been something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, not something I'm able to do within 100 days, just because I want to not only just read the Bible, I want to interpret it. And that's why I've been going to Bible study down here. So some of your goals may be extended, but start with this 93 days and you will feel an incredible high from the trans uh, transformation you'll experience. I did, it was incredible for me. So if another thing is, I just wanna quickly mention that it's really good to have a partner. Get someone that's gonna hold you accountable. If you need someone, I can be that person for you but you sort of feed off each other. I did it with my friend Rebecca, and we checked in either every day or every other day and said, how'd you do with your goals? And we copied our goals on pieces of paper and sent them to each other. So we said, here, here are my goals. I, for the day, and we were, um, we both met our goals. So having an accountability partner, super important. Proud of you. Now talk about 333. So Kathy's been trying to understand how I can get so deeply connected and have these visions, of very clear visions of what I see during my meditations. And she says, how is that happening to you? I went to Catholic school. I went to church every single Sunday. You go once in a while, but you're, you're getting all these downloads and receiving all this information. And ultimately it becomes down to you create those habits. So as I kept doing my meditations and I kept creating those habits, can you grab the, grab the mail, babe? Sure. And you, and you create those habits. What happens is, is that you become those habits. And Aaron knows. I get to see you, Aaron. I get to see you, Jessica. So, so what happens is, as you create these habits, you create that accountability, and then you have the app that tracks it. It shows you your progress. Now you're being accountable to yourself. And now, from where she was, I think she ended up losing like 13 pounds. She beat her goal weight, and now she even lost another pound below her goal weight. And she, like I said, she worked her butt off for those 93 days and she finally surpassed it like a week later. So she already created those habits. Now she's eating healthier. She's spiritually and mentally healthier. Her, her outlook, I mean, she, I can see her. She, she's lit up. She's got that light. Like Chuck has that light. Paul has that light. These guys are lit up because they're going ahead and receiving so much connection from the universe, from God, from life that now that's become them. Same thing with our eating habits. Same thing with our businesses. We continue to, to go out there and master our businesses. One of the things in, in business is you teach and learn something about your business and what are you doing to get paid or getting closer to getting paid? So all these systems, that I call them four pillars. All of those things anchor what you want. Creates the habits that you want. Now the results start showing up. So Kathy actually had an encounter, 3.33, she woke up, went to the bathroom, came back, and she had an encounter with her parents. And I don't yeah. think she had any connection with your parents. Talk about that, Kat. So I woke up and I don't typically dream of my parents, and I always want to. And not too long ago, I woke up at 3.33, and 
I ended up falling back to sleep and in it I had a dream from childhood. But not only was I looking at the, where we lived when I was a child, but I became, I came back and was in the family. Now I'm the youngest of all the kids, but in this dream, I was the oldest. And when I came home, it was this big celebration and my parents were there, my siblings. Ironically, my brother John, who's a bit of a germaphobe, when I went to hug him, put out his hand and went, not too close. So I... <laughs> so even the virus was in your dream. <laughs> so, but I, everybody was exactly like who they are in real life. I remember thinking, I'm never gonna leave here. I... There it goes family that I didn't want to wake up. It was something that I'll never forget and I journaled right away because I didn't want to miss any of the details of it. So that's another thing. When you get something good in a dream, write it down right away and write all the details because if you're like me, in a couple weeks you'll forget some of those minor details that in my life are major. Yes, so there you go guys. This is exactly what can happen to you if you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to get in there and hold yourself accountable. Let these dogs get out of the car. Come here, Thor. Show you guys a nice view of Thor's butt. Show you guys what's going on here with this beautiful sunshiny day here. As you can see, all the trees are blooming. We got an awesome blue sky here. And I've been doing this work for about four years now. I've been tracking my goals. Every 93 days, I reset those goals. So now is, instead of living one year at a time, we're living three and a half years in one year. That can be you. You can get spiritually connected. You can go out there and work on your body and get healthy. So regardless if there's a virus or a bacteria or whatever, the next thing's gonna be. This stuff always happens every three to five. H1N1, the mad cow disease, and all this crazy stuff. But the reality is, is that we can control what we that influence we adapt we adjust and we execute so thank you Raul for that adapting adjusting execute mantra because that thing is ingrained in my body every single day I get up I read do my devotionals I'll do my prayer I'll do my meditation I'll journal and then I start my day it can become you so start visualizing what you want do the nine-day meditation free challenge just post it that nine-day meditation challenge is helping so many people it can help you but you have to do the work there is no go to the store what you desire you have to earn it. You earn it. You keep getting that inspiration and motivation to keep going forward. This is an absolutely gorgeous day here. In the yard, unpack our groceries, go in the back, do some deck work here, and replace a couple of rotted boards, changing out. I'm going to be drilling some holes through this foundation of the house over there, putting in some new spigots because, as you can see, our rose bushes are fully bloomed over here. The flowers are fully bloomed. I just picked up some more red mulch, just finished all that off. For you guys that were watching that Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about these seedlings were popping out. This guy was first, but look at now they're all out except for like one or two. Got our tomato plants over there. And over here, these rose bushes are absolutely gorgeous. This guy must have planted those a while ago because every single one of those things got a bud on it. And this one's so big, I'm gonna have to retie this guy back up. And here's the rest of our plants and flowers we'll be going in today. Look at that rose bush. I think, uh, Sri, you were posting about the rose bush the other day. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. So, guys, go out there this Saturday. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Enjoy time with your family. Go out there and connect. Get into that free nine day meditation challenge. Get into the membership site so you can go and start tracking your goals. Because this is what's required for you to get all the things that you deserve in life. No one's going to do the work for you. Very few people are going to get the handouts from mom and dad and all this other stuff. You're better off earning it anyway, Blake. And that's what I was doing for years and years and years in the past was going out there just hustling and working. I had a full-time job when I was 17 years old in high school. And I still get my fishing in, in between. I will be going sneaking out to that golf course again, do a little fishing tomorrow. The guy doesn't know I'm coming yet, but I know last time I was there, that bald eagle came down and snatched the calico bass blake right out of the water in front of me, scared me to half to death. Never saw it coming. But go out there and, and love on some people today. Call some people today. Kathy was talking about that connection. 93 days, you can change your life. 
It's up to you to choose. No one's going to do the work for you. Every day we have a choice. We can show up and get better than we were yesterday. We can play small and, and just be comfortable and hide in our homes. Or we can go out there and make a difference. But we choose. Have a blessed day, guys. Keep showing up. We are one-third of the way. Today is one-third of the way through 122 days of 366. We are just getting started. Have a blessed and fantastic day when it's all said and done together. We'll rise as one.